What's up, guys? It's Robo Freak here, and uh, I'm gonna show you guys the uh, Bluetooth tank I made. Except this one is Wii Remote controlled, as I had promised you guys in the beginning. But uh, this is the second video. If you have not watched the first video, I encourage you to watch that before watching this. It explains hardware, software, pretty much everything uh, about the robot in uh, in depth. So the robot is the same, nothing was changed on it, except the laptop has been changed. The laptop acts as a bridge. So you go, you jump from the Wii Remote to the laptop, then the laptop transmits data to the Arduino, and vice versa. So the Wii Remote is right here. You have the four lights down there, I'll explain those in a minute. You have the vibrating motor inside, as well as the four buttons up here. These are for directional control. You get forward, back, left, and right. It's quite simple, just like the last one, except it's on the Wii remote. Now, the thing I did change was the uh, alert system. I didn't realize that I could do this until I started playing with it. I forgot about it, but the four lights at the bottom, I use it to signify uh, becoming closer to an object when there's four like it is now that means that you're 26 inches or more away from an object right about now it's around 26 inches exactly now it's around it's 22 inches or less when you get two that means it's 18 inches or less one means it's 14 inches or less and then when you go below one I don't know if you guys can hear that but the Wii remote is vibrating with the motor inside to signify that you're about to hit an object. I like the vibrating feature more than the computer's audible tone because it was incredibly annoying. So the Wii remote, I think it's all in all a, a good choice, except the only thing is that the Wii remote is completely dependent on the computer in this case. I believe you can connect it directly to the Arduino, but that would take a lot of time for me to get the code right. The computer is running the managed Wiimote library so it detects when I push these buttons and it also allows me to control the lights and the motor and everything else in the Wii Remote. I can plug in attachments like the nunchuck and the classic controller but I didn't see a reason to do that. There's only two motors on it so it's not like you can do much. On the laptop though the problem that I, I see with this is just because it's, as I said, it's completely dependent on the laptop. But the laptop, the laptop's like a bridge between the Wii Remote and the uh, robot. If it's missing, the data doesn't get to either end. And the computer does most of the number crunching to figure out what this thing's doing. And then it drives the Arduino. So, it's a pretty good robot. Uh, I'm probably going to take it apart in a week. So, if you guys have any questions or comments or you want me to do any other mods, please post on it and I'll see if I can do that. If you have a mod that's worthwhile and interesting and within my capability, I'd be happy to do it. Uh, so, please comment, please rate, and please subscribe if you already haven't subscribed. I, it's the summer now, so I should have videos out quite frequently, probably at least one a week, maybe more. I'll go on like video frenzy, so uh, please subscribe, rate, and uh, that's, that's all.